More than 21% of children in Shelby County schools are suffering from food insecurity as we speak, which means they're often unsure of where their next meal will come from. A major concern for school leaders. CW30's Jeanne Frenting working this story for us live for us at the Shelby County School Board's offices in Midtown Memphis. Jeanne, this is affecting a lot of students. It is out of the 100,000 students in Shelby County schools. I'm told more than 21,000 of those students go home with nothing to eat, and that's very alarming. But the good news is Shelby County schools and a local nutrition provider are working to feed these children. The community eligibility provision under the National School Lunch Program gives students free breakfast and lunch regardless of income. SES is also offering a school-based program giving students a free snack and dinner. Administrators tell me schools with an after-school program are the ones that usually participate, but they are also encouraging athletic programs to sign up so when student athletes finish their game, they can get a free dinner. Along with the school system, Caramu Nutrition Program is working to combat hunger. Caramu sponsors over 400 child care centers, homes, and at-risk programs. They serve over 7,000 children on a daily basis right here in the Mid-South. And we all know how important a balanced diet is, especially when it comes to being able to focus in the classroom. A well-fed student is able to concentrate in school. They come to school ready to learn. A lot of times children who do not have enough food to eat sometimes comes to come to school feeling sick, ill. They oftentimes put their heads down because their head hurts. A nutritious snack would be considered um, peanut butter crackers, 1% milk because the milk requirements for their age is 1%. And so a nutritious dinner would be considered a salmon patty, green beans, carrots, whole wheat bread, and 1% milk. If you are a principal or over a local community center and want to take part, all you have to do is contact SCS or Caremu Nutrition Services. Reporting live in Midtown, Jeanne Francine, CW30 Morning News.